Hello everyone, the Bearded Thumb here. How y'all doing today? So, like the video says, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the United States Championship Replica WWE Belt. The version that is uh, that was debuted by MVP and is currently held by one Bobby Lashley at the time of uh, making this video. Uh, the title doesn't say this, but I, this box also contains the uh, WWE Championship, currently held by Drew McIntyre. And the Fiend side plates, so those will be in here too, but to put all that in the title would have been one really long-ass title, and ain't nobody got time for that. So, without further ado, let's open this up and see what these things look like. Since I'll need it for later, uh, as my one video showed, I got my trusty screwdriver to help me open the box. Not as good as a box cutter, but it gets the job done. Oh, that is a... Uh, they really try to get these things in there good. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I will say, these things are packed really, really well. We'll start off from top to bottom here. Ugh, Jesus. Awkwardly shaped. Right. So, first we're going to start off with the United States Championship belt. Very well packed. It's uh, all that bubble wrap you saw, and then it's in this plastic sleeve, which you take out, and it comes in a carrying case. seen right here. It's pretty good material. I personally feel it really nice there. I mean, I'm not going to keep it in there, but if you're someone who wanted to buy it and keep it in a case, it's actually a really solid. And now, let's take a look at this bad boy. Once you get it out, it's just in more plastic wrap. So they do pack it very well. Uh, I knew this from when I ordered my uh, Universal title that was shown in my video on how to put the side plates on. So I had no worries about ordering it. It's a pain in the ass to get it all off here. There we go. Almost there. There we go. Now there it is. And there it is. The United States Championship Belt Replica. I personally think it's pretty cool. It had to grow on me. At first, when they first debuted it, I'll be honest, I thought it looked stupid. But it grew on me, and I really liked it. And that's why I decided to buy one. Alright, moving on to the next belt. WWE Championship. And with my Fiend side plates, I still haven't quite decided which belt I'm going to put those on. If I want to put them on the Universal title or the WWE Championship. Uh, for now, I plan on just leaving the United States Championship uh, with the stock plates because I'm weird and the way the side plates look I just don't think they really go well with the belt. I think the stock ones are really best suited for it for now. But if it's one thing I've done on this channel. It's never been consistent. I've changed my mind on a lot of things. So who knows? Maybe in time I'll find something I feel can go on there. And then there this is. The WWE Championship belt. I mean, these are really nice replicas. I mean, yeah, they're a bit of a steep price. But, I mean, if you're a fan, I definitely feel they are well worth it. And then finally, 
the Fiend side plates. There's two variants of these. There's the ones with the Fiend face. Then two... Uh, one says hurt, one says heal. But I personally wanted these ones. And there they are. So yeah, just a quick video here. Um, that'll bring us to the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook. Link to the Facebook page is in the description down below. If you did not like this video, I wouldn't feel no one should ever be subjected to watching this crap ever again. Thumbs down, negative comment, and until next time, let me in. I mean, this has been the Bearded Thumb. Have a good one.